What's up, y'all? This is Henny. And listen, today, I got a really dope product to show you. Something that I've been using for a few months now, and uh, it's really changed the game on a professional level for me. <laughs> and what is that product, you might be wondering, is this. This is the Narbox 2.0 SSD. This is one of the dopest, most convenient backup hard drive tools that you could possibly use for your iPad Pro, for your iOS devices. Now, Narbox, yes, they did send this to me and I've had this for the last couple of months to test it out. And when I tell you this thing has saved my ass a few times, so we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna tell you all things about this new Narbox 2.0 SSD coming right up. Let's go. The business, the business. All right, first things first, let's see what's in the box. Now this is the Narbox 2.0 SSD one terabyte versions. They actually have three versions on the site right now. Uh, the one terabyte version, the 512 gigabyte version, and the 256 gigabyte version. Now in the box, you'll see here, uh, gotta keep that flow up. Now in the box, you'll have the, uh, of course, I've had mine for a few months, so you know, my unboxing skills isn't really up to par right now, but you know what I'm talking about. Of course, you get the user's manual with stickers and all of that explaining exactly how this device works. You get the Narbox 2.0 SSD uh, device itself with a removable battery, which is pretty freaking dope. Um, see right there. Behind that, you have a really dope charger that's gonna charge the Narbox very, via USB-C as well as charge another device, USB-A. So I like that they put that USB-A part on the charging brick. A custom Narbox USB-C to USB-C cable and some international adapters um, for your charging brick. And that's pretty much it. So let me show you how this thing works. First things first, you hit the right button and uh, you hold it to start up. As it's booting up, let me show you exactly what's on the device. So as you can see, it has its own uh, little LED screen to tell you what's going on. That is one of the most clutch features of a device like this. Uh, like I said before, they have a removable battery here, as well as USB-C power delivery on the front. And on the back, you'll see they have a SD card reader, a micro HDMI uh, input, and another USB-C input that's not uh, power delivery. Let me get this straight right out the gate. If you are a professional and you're looking for an all-in-one backup device for something like your iPad Pro and uh, you're using you know, iOS devices, this is the best thing money can buy. Now, it's an investment. Let's be honest, right from the jump. We're gonna go over the prices in a little bit, but this thing is not uh, this thing is not very cheap at all. So uh, understand that it's an investment, but if you take your, you know, your files, your content, everything very seriously, and you want to make sure that you can get backups in a very durable, rugged way while you're on the go, as well as if you're here, like in a studio setting, this thing can hold you down in more ways than you can think. So let's break this down. First thing is this, I've used a number of different devices to try to back up or get my files to my iPads over the years. This is, the, of course, this is the RAV Power device that allowed me to import my SD cards and bring in hard drives via Wi-Fi. And it also had a built-in uh, battery bank, which was cool. This held me down for some time. Then I went and bought this. This is the WD Passport SSD. And uh, for a while, I was using this to back up, you know, a lot of my files as well as get files to and from my iPads. And I'll say this, this device was working very well for a while, but I was very frustrated by the app. The app that this thing comes with, it just, just wasn't holding me down. It was hard to transfer files back and forth and it just wasn't as convenient as I needed. Moving on to the NAR box here. So awesome that you have an LCD screen on the front here. Uh, now, I did not have the Narbox 1.0 uh, version of this hard drive backup situation, but uh, uh, the fact that Narbox, shout out to Matt, sent me this 
of 2.0, it's really been holding me down. The first thing you'll probably wanna figure out is, you know, how do you back things up? How do you get things to and from this device? So if I take something like this SD card and put it into the SD card slot, it's gonna immediately pop up and tell me things that I can do, right? It's gonna say, do you, you know, do you wanna back up this no name uh, SD card with 41.1 gigabytes uh, filled up on the card? So I've already done this, but let me show you exactly what can be done. You can either back up now, right? You can go to advance or you can eject. So automatically I have some ways that I can go through and knock this out, but it goes a step further. Say for instance, I brought in this Samsung SSD drive. I can plug this into the front. If I hit the back button and then I hit the down button, it'll show me all the volumes that I have on, you know, con connected to the NAR box. So now it shows that Henny's T5, which is this, you know, this drive here is connected, the SD card, and you know, I, I also have the NAR box SSD built in. If I want to go and say, I want to transfer this no name SD card, I can go to advanced and it'll tell me, do I want to transfer it to the NAR box or do I want to transfer it to the T5? What's also amazing is the fact that you can copy to both at the same time. And so if you have a portable hard drive as a, as a backup backup, you have this as your rugged on the go backup, you can literally back up one card to two destinations at once. It's just clutch how you can do this and do this on the go. Say for instance, I just wanna back up now. It says backup is complete. And what's really crazy is, I backed this card up a few days ago and it, you know, it lets you know that you all those files that you've backed up, backs up and it verifies. And it lets you know when you try to back up those files again, those files are already completed. You don't have to worry about that. You might as well go ahead and eject that thing. Device ejected, I can take it out. We're all good to go. Now you're saying here, okay, that's cool, whatever. I have hard drives that I can use with my iPad Pro using iPad OS now. Why would I even wanna even invest in something like this? Let's go into that. So now that I have the files backed up on this Narbox SSD, uh, let me show you the ways that you can connect it. First things first, you can connect via Wi-Fi like most of these drives been able to do, right? Go to Wi-Fi, you're gonna see that uh, the Narbox is going to pop up as a Wi-Fi and you'll be able to go in and use the Narbox's app. Now Narbox uh, has two apps on the App Store. One is called SafeKeep and one is called Selects. I'm gonna go into the SafeKeep uh, app and let me show you how that works. Now it's gonna see that the Narbox is being shown. If I go to Browse, you're gonna see my Narbox SSD here. You can view your video files, your photos, your raw files, even your music files through this app. Now in my months of testing, how much have I used this app? To be honest, not as much. Because once I got iPad OS beta on my iPad Pro and my other iPads, I really wanted to see how far I could take something like the Narbox and, and take it with uh, the Files app. So on the Files app, it's cool. Even when I'm connected via Wi-Fi, I can go to safe keep in my files and I can still see things here. So it works just like a Wi-Fi drive on the files app. I can go to LumaFusion, go to Narbox, and it's you know connected. I can see all my files here. It works great on LumaFusion via Wi-Fi, just like the other drives, right? I can go look at my Narbox, I can look through, you know, all the footage that I have and easily drag it, drag it via Wi-Fi. But let's go a step further and let me show you two other ways that this thing can be connected. So if I go here, go to Narbox, hit the down button to settings, go over, they have a, a setting called dual roll USB. And I'm gonna go down to mass storage and I'm gonna click, yes, I wanna activate that task and continue and it's gonna reboot in mass storage mode. Now when it reboots in mass storage mode, it just becomes a regular hard drive that you can connect to your computers, to your iPad, Pro, all of those things. And you know, it's great to know that you can use this as a Wi-Fi drive. You can connect this directly to the iPad using your USB-C to USB-C cable, and you'll be able to get files transferred very fast through this process. Why has this helped me? Why has this been so influential as far as a great convenient backup tool for me? Over the summer, I was shooting a ton of video using my X-T3. I was trying out the Canon EOS R. I was trying out the, uh, you know, the Sony a7 III again. Uh, I was doing some long shoots with 
you know, big long takes. And I take those cards, put them into my card reader and try to import them directly into the Photos app on my iPad Pro to do some editing. What would happen was after a few minutes of that video file, I would see something happen where it would just and go crazy. I don't know if anybody else has seen something like this where your file just becomes corrupted after a few minutes once it's transferred into your iPad Pro. It was driving me insane. I was getting, I was buying new cards. I was thinking maybe it's the cameras. I didn't know what was going on. I figured out that uh, it was the way that the iPad was importing these files that was causing me these issues. So lo and behold, I just started putting these files directly into the NAR box, whether I was out on the go or whether I was here at the studio. Quite as kept, once I started transferring those files via Wi-Fi or via some of these other ways that you connect um, via um, the Files app or LumaFusion, I was having no issues. So this NAR box saved quite a few of my videos because, you know, other than that, I thought, you know, that fi the files were corrupted from the cameras. But now let me show you the third way that this can connect. Now, if I go to my NAR box and I go down, instead of using mass storage, I'm gonna use it as a USB-C ethernet. Now it's gonna reboot in that mode. Now what ethernet mode is going to do is going to act like it's connected via ethernet instead of Wi-Fi. So the transfer speeds are gonna be incredibly faster if you're transferring your raw files, transferring your footage. And uh, you know, I'm using this a lot for my video files. So if I go into LumaFusion, once it's rebooted, I'll, I'll be able to see it just like I was able to see it via Wi-Fi. And I'll be able to get the files off the NAR box so much faster. So now that I see my NAR box, I can click on there, click my NAR box. I'm connected via USB ethernet. I'm gonna look at my files, look at my clips, and I can easily drag a file and it's gonna be so much faster to download than to do it via Wi-Fi. It's fast and convenient ways like this that allow me to get my files back onto my iPad Pro to easily edit via LumaFusion. So like I said, this thing is an investment, but when you're out in the field, it's, it's really, really dope. Let me show you how that works, being out in the field. So listen, man, I'm up here at the Home Depot backyard, shooting a little event for my sister-in-law, having a great time doing it. So having something like this NAR box with me at all times, just allows me to do so many things on the go and keep it very light. You see right here, I just got this, uh, this air sling. I got the NAR box in there and uh, it easily just fits with me as I'm on the go. If a card fills up, I just pop it in, hit the, you know, smart backup and it's rugged enough that I'm walking around and it's backing up and it's dope. All right, let's load it up. You can see it asked me if I want to back up now, 41 gigs. So it's been about, I would say no more than four, five minutes and it's almost, you know, 65% complete off the 41 gig transfer. That's pretty good, just being, you know, walking around and doing what we gotta do. What's really awesome about this device is the fact that not only does it back up your files, but it verifies them after it's fully backed up. It gives you that security to let you know that all your files are safely stored on this. Now let's talk pricing. Because at the time of this video, you know, if we go to pre-order, these things aren't cheap. You know, the 256 gigabyte version is 499. The 512 version is 599 and the terabyte version is 899. This thing is an investment. But if you're out here as a professional and you need to back up your photos, back up your raw files, back up your video files, back up your sessions as a musician, and you wanna make sure it's, you know, on the go, it's rugged, you know, it's weather resistant, it's gonna make sure you get your files wherever you need them backed up and um, safely stored, this is something that you invest in. It's really convenient to have this. And so yes, you're paying for this convenience, but to be able to have a device like this and it helps you out when you most need it, that's the game changing part for me. Um, and so I've been using this for a while and um, yeah, I can honestly say that if you're in the market for a very uh, rugged SSD drive that's going to back up your files and be very convenient with something like your iPad Pro, this is the device you need to look at. And so yeah, man, that's pretty much it. 
But, you know, I wanted to take a time to talk about sponsors and talk about sponsorships because, you know, a lot of us YouTubers get things sent to us. We get emails every day asking for us to review their products. Sometimes they want to pay you for it. Sometimes they just want to send you the devices themselves. Sometimes, you know, they want you to do a specific thing. You know, for me on this channel, and I think for others, you know, I think it's all about finding the gear that really suits your needs. I don't want to just review products that I'm not feeling, that I'm not digging, um, just to try to sell some products or just get some paper, um, you know, for this channel. That's not what I set up this channel for. Take, for instance, like my last video where I talked about the Koala Sampler app. You know, people were hitting me up left and right like, oh, man, I'm... <laughs> I hope you're getting paid for that because you really just put them on. I was like, you know, sometimes I'll talk about a product that I'm really digging. Sometimes, you know, a company will send me a product. And if I'm not feeling it, I've sent it back without reviewing it and uh, said, I'm sorry, it's just not working for my needs. So for me, it's more about having the integrity of saying, you know what, the products that I show, the products that I talk about are products that I'm actually using and that I actually really dig. So, you know, I go through a lot of stuff and I try to make sure I find the best products for me. And yes, not every product is cheap. Not every product is inexpensive. Some products just get the job done. And usually, you know, uh, you get what you pay for. So when I talked about products and when I talk about sponsorships, just know on my channel, I'm only gonna talk about the things that I'm really into. So that's it, man. This is the Narbox. This is the 2.0. SSD drive and I'm digging it and uh, I'll be using it for a while. So that's pretty much it. I'll catch you in the next one, man. Thanks for watching. Hit them out. Let me get this good old card. And drop it in. Ooh, 24 gigs. Let's back it up. Backup verify. You can inject. Boom. Oh yeah. And uh, yep, I do all my. Uh, <laughs> Woo, I do all my videos and my draws, so just know that.